today we will do Kailash Chandra dictation transcription number 62. You can get the PDF from description box. So ready? Start. I would like briefly to give the background under which this bill has been brought forward by the government. The house is aware that this institution has been in existence now for nearly half a century. It was established in 1910 and since then it has rendered very valuable service for the promotion of Hindi and through holding various conferences it focused the attention of the country to the great importance of Hindi as a national language. The institution has rendered valuable service in various other ways also. It has been conducting examinations. It has been affiliating institutions which are doing similar kind of work in the field of Hindi and it has branches in various parts of the country. The institution has also built up a library which probably contains almost all the books which have been published in Hindi so far and it has a valuable collection of manuscripts. I understand that it is one of the best in the whole country. It conducts various examinations and these examinations have been recognized by the government. It has also on its rules a large number of members. Some differences have arisen among the members and the activities of the institution have been paralyzed. After the declaration of Hindi as the official language, it was thought by the Samalin that it was necessary to amend its constitution. Therefore, at the Hyderabad session of the Samilan held in March 1949, a resolution was passed for the amendment of the constitution and a committee of 21 members was appointed to frame the rules and place its recommendations before a special session of the Samilan to be held at Patna. This committee did prepare a draft constitution for the Samilan and it was placed before the Patna session of the Samilan. But unfortunately, at this session, differences arose among the members and after a good deal of discussion, it was decided ultimately to entrust the framing of the constitution to a committee of even persons with this proviso that a constitution signed by eight members shall be deemed to be approved by a general session of the Samilan. This committee prepared a constitution and it was considered by the session of the committee held in December. At this session, differences arose among the members and the Samilan was not be able to hold its session. The situation now is that the institution is in the hands of an official receiver. It has done good work but obviously at the present moment because he is only an honorary person looking after the institution he cannot give much time and the institution had not been doing the work for which it was established several years back. Various efforts have been made to bring about some kind of 
a settlement, but all these efforts have failed. Ultimately, the Uttar Pradesh government had to intervene and pass the Act of 1956. This act was also in the nature of an interim measure, but the act of the UP government was challenged in the High Court at Allahabad and it was declared ultra-virus mainly on the ground that it created a corporation with objects not confined to one state and the court said that legislation could be passed only by parliament. We have been receiving various representations from people who are interested in the welfare of this institution and the promotion of Hindi and the government have therefore thought it proper to declare this institution as an institution of national importance and to rescue the institution which has unfortunately fallen into evil days. This is the main purpose for which this bill has been brought forward. The special features of this bill are these. We are proposing to appoint a governing body which will consist of a chairman, a secretary and 13 other members all to be appointed by the central government. But this will only be an interim measure. This bill empowers the governing body to make with the approval of the central government the rules of the sammelan. It will also set up a properly constituted government body which will take charge of the institution in course of time. The House will not change in a clause 12 of the bill the governing body has been empowered to make with the approval of the central government rules of the Sammelan in respect of matters relating to membership including the qualifications and disqualifications for the membership of the Sammelan. The powers and functions of the governing body, the conduct of election for the constitution of the governing body and the decisions on doubt and dispute at or in connection with these elections. It is also proposed that the accounts of this institution should be audited by a chartered accountant. The government of India have a certain responsibility in the promotion of Hindi and the house is aware that the government have taken various measures to promote Hindi throughout the country during the last several years. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel. Stenu's chat.